Hey guys, welcome back to Explore Electronics. Here is the model question paper 2 for the digital system design using Verilog subject. Let us look at it quickly. In the first module combinational circuit, a kind of same question what we saw in model paper 1 is asked here also. A combinational circuit to be designed where input variables will produce logic 1 when more than one input variables are 1. And the second question if you see, write the boolean function into canonical main term and max term in decimal format. Find all the prime implicants and essential prime implicants for the following function. And then in the question 2 that is the choice question, here we need to simplify these functions using kmap. And in 2b you can see quinn Maklowski minimization technique is asked. And then coming to module 2, 3 to 8 decoder along with R and R NOR gates. In each case, the gate should be selected so as to minimize the total number of inputs. It is a kind of implementation question using a 3 to 8 decoder. And construct single decade decimal, count, decimal adder with necessary correction circuit design. This is 3B. In 3C, again we see a comparator. A 2-bit comparator is asked in module, uh, model question paper 1. Now, 1-bit comparator circuit is asked. In a choice question in module 2, construct the following function using 8 is to 1 mux and 16 is to 1 mux. So, repeatedly asked mux implementation questions everywhere. So, this question is sure in exam. And construct the functional table for 4 to 2 line priority encoder with a valid output, assigning highest priority to highest bit position or input with highest index and obtain the minimal sum expression for the outputs. This is a priority encoder question and implement full ladder using PAL, programmable array logic. This is from module 2. Coming to module 3, again master slave JK flip flop is asked here and also SR and D flip flops characteristic equation we need to derive and make use of the negative edge trigger T flip flop uh, describe the working of 4 bit binary ripple counter. We need to design the counter here using T flip flop. In the choice question, we have shift register question. SISO, SIPO, PISO and PIPO is asked. And also uh, the next question is to design the counter, mod 5 counter and the sequence is given. And we need to design here using T flip flop. In the previous model question paper, SR flip flop design is asked. And explain the working of ring counter with necessary diagram and equations. Coming to module 4. Verilog HTL data types is asked and three data types we need to explain with examples. And uh, the second question, different modeling styles in Verilog and we need to write the half adder for example. And the third question, evaluate the following. Here the operators are given and also the values are given. We need to evaluate them and we need to tell the output. In the choice question in module 4, explain signal declaration and assignment statements in Verilog data flow description. Realize D latch with active high enable and also write Verilog program considering a delay time to the signal assignment statement with simulation waveform. This question we saw in model paper 1 also. The same question here it is asked with active high enable. Question number 8C write a Verilog data flow model for full ladder. This is also a repeatedly asked question. In module 5, the 9th A question is. Behavioral description for 8 is to 1 mux along with the design and timing diagrams is asked. Different case statements available in Verilog with syntax and example we need to write. And realize the binary up counter using Verilog behavioral description. And in the choice question, again loops are asked here. For loop, while loop and repeat loop in Verilog. Write a structural description for 3 bit triple carry adder is asked. In the previous paper you see uh, the carry look head adder is asked. Write a Verilog code for 2 is to 1 max using if else statement. This is about the model question paper 2 of DSDV subject. The model paper 1 contains some of these questions also. So these are we can consider it as very important and these two model papers will help you in the exam for sure. Thank you. Thank you.